Hey there, Internet. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Yes, it's Patreon review time again. Now, in November of 1918, an armistice came into effect that marked the end of the First World War. This video was recorded in the week following the 100th anniversary of that day. And by all accounts, World War I was a terrible and brutal conflict. And nowhere was this more evident than on the battlefields of the Western Front. But today's subject isn't about the First World War. So what does any of this have to do with it? Well, it does feature some pretty brutal battles. And... These battles are against an opponent who isn't even human. Permit me to elaborate. Released in 1997, Starship Troopers follows a young infantryman on a journey through a future war with an insectoid species. Johnny Rico joins the military in order to gain full citizenship. But the life of a foot soldier is hard and dangerous. This movie spawned several sequels, both of the live action and CGI variety, but never became a pop culture phenomenon to the level of its director's other work. Do you want to know more? Then come with me, my friends, into the far future to meet the roughnecks of the mobile infantry in... Starship Troopers! It's the 23rd century and Johnny Rico and his friends are graduating high school. Rico's thinking about taking a spin in the military, and signs up alongside his friends. And here we have our three POV characters, Johnny Rico, Carmen Ibanez, and Carl Jenkins. Jenkins is psychic and is snapped up by military intelligence, while Ibanez is math brain enough to qualify for flight training. But of the three, poor Johnny drew the short straw. And mobile infantry life is brutal. Clancy Brown, ladies and gentlemen, in the role of Sergeant Zim. You might remember him playing a similar good old boy in Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. That was a good movie. But I suppose most of you know him best as Lex Luthor from the DC Animated Universe. And we may yet get to that. But Rico seems to take it okay. Not so much the goodbye com of his girlfriend, however. Heart goes out to you, man. But then, I did hear that long-distance relationships never work out. And worse, live fire training goes about as well as you'd expect. It's all too much for our boy. Until an arachnid asteroid claims his hometown... Buenos Aires, capital of Argentina. Wonder if we've actually beat them in a World Cup by this point. And so, Johnny Rico is back in uniform, and shipped out for immediate invasion of the arachnid homeworld. Which again, goes about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> but shock! Rico's alive! You see... Johnny Rico was declared killed in action after actually having only been stabbed in the leg. Reminds me actually, I knew a guy who was wrongfully declared killed in action. And transferred to the command of Rachax Roughnecks. Where he proves himself in spectacular fashion. <laughs> and off to Planet P, where the entire outpost was wiped out. Yeah, so this whole thing was a trap. They set it up, they sent the distress signal. To what end, I don't really know, but humanity isn't entirely witless. Outnumbered and outgunned, the only option is to fall back. But not everyone survives. which gives Rico quite the promotion from an old friend. And so the mission is on, 
to capture an arachnid central hive mind. But there's trouble in orbit. And Lieutenant Ibanez barely escapes. But it's out of the frying pan into the fire as poor Carmen Ibanez lands on Planet P, right in the middle of a nest of bugs. So it's Rico to the rescue. And they even managed to capture the arachnid leader. So then, my friends, that was Starship Troopers. And despite the blood, gore, and incidental nudity, I'm still gonna put this one into my house of love. This is a genuine war flick. Soldiers die, guns blaze, and the enemy loom large. But hope isn't lost, because this is, after all, a Hollywood flick, replete with late 90s CGI, last minute deus ex escape, and callbacks to earlier scenes. So at this point I'd begin to detail the performances, but a movie like this doesn't live or die on them. And indeed, the main cast, Casper Van Dien, Dina Meyer, Denise Richards, Neil Patrick Harris, all deliver unspectacular turns. Richards herself seems to spend the majority of the movie in Richter's grin, except for the few moments where she's told to emote. No, the best performances are saved for the supporting cast. Clancy Brown as a good old boy drill sergeant, Jake Busey's initially meat-headed but maturing nicely side character Ace, and of course, Michael Ironside's classic school teacher turned hard case lieutenant Ratchak. And being a sci-fi film, we have to mention the effects, which consist of a mix of CG bugs and practical model spaceships, which look brilliant. And the full orchestral score by Basil Polidorus really adds to the movie, even if it is mostly heroic military chaff. But is it any good? Well, it is a war picture, even if it is dressed in sci-fi armour, and the setting is controversial enough, with talk of civilians and citizens, and there's plenty of gore, both human and arachnid. There's even a co-ed shower scene, which actually serves a purpose. But it's still a Hollywood movie, even if it was directed by the notorious Paul Verhoeven, so let's get to my main gripe with the movie, the satirical undertones. Just like the original Robocop, which Verhoeven also directed, this movie occasionally cuts away from the action for propagandesque news segments, delivered as if on an interactive platform, which does hurt the flow. But once we get past the initial planetary invasion, things smooth out considerably, and all of the madness of a live combat zone washes over you. So I suppose the real test is whether or not I'd watch it again, and I definitely would. It may have a questionable setting, buckets of blood, or whatever passes through the arachnid veins, and a few rough edges, but it's surprisingly watchable, and the CG effects have actually aged quite well. In summary then, if it's a family flick you're looking for, look elsewhere. If it's a damning indictment of the military you seek, you're straight out of luck. But if you want a gung-ho war movie that's perfect for a boys movie night in, with a pleasing sci-fi twist, then you could do a lot worse than Paul Verhoeven's Starship Troopers. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, check out my archive where you can find hours more funky monkey goodness. And if you want to beat the rush, sign up now at my crowdfunding links in the description below. But for now, I've been Funky Monkey, Wishing you safe deployment and safe return. Dismissed, soldiers!